Hello Pisces. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I am here today to do your love reading for mid-April 2021. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, angels, divine spirits, and guides. Show me messages for my Pisces friends, please. For mid-April 2021, in their love life, show me Pisces, please. One more card for Pisces. I may decide to extend this reading at the end if I feel necessary. I will let you know. If I feel like I can pull some more stuff from it, I just, I, I was extending all of the readings, but... I just finished Aquarius and I mean it was so cut and dry that there just wasn't no need completion perfection and rejection all coming out but I only want one more card please they could all be significant maybe not who knows on the bottom of the deck we have oh that completion came back up okay the end of a major cycle something is over dead and buried <laughs> I mean, not literally, but <laughs> putting the past in the past and perfection is underneath it. Okay, so maybe they were meant to come out. All right, so this is gratitude. It's about being thankful. Maybe this represents a good friend in your life that you're just thankful to have support from. Impasse. Man, this card coming up for everybody. This is, it's, it's basically a card of rejection. It's an angel that is blocking your way, um, telling you that you can't go down there because it's either not divine timing or there's danger on the other side of that fence. So it's a, it's a card of rejection is protection, an impasse, you're being forced to go down another path that you appear to, that you most likely will be very thankful that the angels did not let you through. That's what I'm getting so far. All right, let's put the tarot out on the table. I like to just put those on the side. Get some messages for Pisces, please. Show me Pisces. Mid-April 2021, show me Pisces, please. Okay, I got the first card. Queen of Cups, that would be you, possibly. Show me Pisces, please. Unless you're dealing with another water sign. And soulmates, wow. All right, what a start. Okay, Queen and the King of Cups both coming out. The King of Cups is in the challenge position. Okay, the Sun card, beautiful. Death card in the past position. Five of Cups. This is what is on your mind. Okay. Two of Swords. Difficult decision. Seven of Pentacles in your role or attitude. Putting effort into something or waiting to make a decision. Eight of Pentacles in the role or attitude of the other person. The Hierophant in your hopes or fears. And the Hermit as the final outcome. Wow, you really have to think about something here. Four of Wands. Could be uh, this Queen of Pentacles just keeps popping up everywhere. <laughs> um, could be marriage, moving in together, some type of a reconciliation, because I see the Eight of Pentacles here. I feel like someone may want to work on this relationship. Knight of Wands, huh? Hmm, okay. Put that on the side. Let me just straighten for a second here. Lay this down so you can see that. And I have to have all my cards straight, guys, so I can see what's going on. All right. So I love that it's based on the sun. Happiness, freedom, best card in the deck. Everybody's actually been getting the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. So it looks like something that you thought was done 
and over is resurfacing. I feel like something, you may have been rejected by this person. Something happened here with this death card and it was over, this completion, it was over. This impasse tells me that this relationship was blocked in the past because it wasn't the right time. Now, what is on your mind is the Five of Cups, which is sadness, loss, mourning, regret. Someone has seen the light here. They now realize how valuable you are. They realize how much they love you. They realize that they want to be with you. They want a long-term commitment with you. I don't like the snake in this particular deck. The hermit has a snake in the card, which tells me that you don't trust someone or that they did something to you in the past that was sneaky or shady. Someone is expressing love, expressing emotions here. And although I feel like you might be very happy that this person is saying all of these things to you, I don't know if you're so sure about taking them back. Because I always look and see what the hermit is shining his light on. And he's shining his light on your fear of commitment, your fear of marriage, your fear of being in a long-term relationship with this person. Seven of Pentacles is in your roller attitude, which tells me that you're waiting to decide whether you want to work on this relationship with this person. The gratitude is the fact that this person has now realized what an important part of their lives you were to them. Now, I don't know why this Queen of Pentacles is here. She could be a good friend that has been supportive to you during this time. This could also be if this King of Cups ended something with you in the past, maybe he went towards that Queen of Pentacles. But she seems to be out of the picture now. This person made a mistake and they're realizing it. They're seeing the light. Eight of Pentacles is lessons. This person learned a lesson. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, the Hermit card tells me that you are going to ghost this person because they really hurt you in the past. They really made you sad in the past. We have a lot more cards to go to see if this, what appears to be a reconciliation is possible. I feel like someone has changed, or at least that's what they're telling you. I've changed, I've grown up, I've seen the light, I learned my lesson. I'm willing to put in effort, I'm willing to work really hard on this relationship. You may have already started investing your time into something else, but somebody wants to take this to the next level. They now want to give you what you want, and you're not so sure that you want it. You're going to be using your intuition very strongly to make this decision. What do I really want? Knight of Wands, they're coming in quick too. I don't think you see this coming. I feel like there's something unexpected here. Even the death card can represent something that is unexpected. Let's pull you some Romance Angels. And let's go a little bit more into messages. Let's see what else we can get out of this reading. Show me additional messages for Pisces, please. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And yes, this is a soulmate. Obviously, King and Queen of Cups is a soulmate. Eight of Pentacles is a soulmate to me. It's learning lessons. Four of Wands also represents a soulmate. Could be a family member, someone that you possibly even have children with, because I'm seeing children here. The King of Cups is my father. The Queen of Cups is my mother in tarot. But even in the Hermit in this deck, He's shining his light down there because he just doesn't know what's down there. Like, is this for real? Is this fake? Are they being sincere? Show me more for you don't trust something about this situation. Nope, not taking all of those. Show me additional worth waiting divine timing there it is so it's worth waiting for and divine timing you deserve love you are lovable it's like you kind of stood up for yourself here 
you're, um, <laughs> I said this in somebody else's reading. It's like this person just comes, knocks on the door, you open it up and you're like, hey, don't come in here. You can talk to me. You stay there and I'm going to stay here. You're not opening, like you're not just going to let this person waltz right back into your life. But it is time. Worth waiting for usually signifies a reconciliation to me. I feel like you're very happy to see this person. Let's get some more. Show me additional messages for Pisces regarding this reading on the table. Will there be a reconciliation here? Some type of tower in that Knight of Wands. Some type of shocking, unexpected ending with this person in the past. Show me Pisces, please. Show me Pisces. Thank you. <laughs> love call. Someone expresses love. A message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. Uh-oh. Show me Pisces, please. You are going to hear from this person. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a block restraint. So that could all be what happened in the past. Maybe this person had some type of addiction. Maybe they were codependent on you. Maybe they were possessive or controlling. There is something that you don't know if you want this person back in your life. What energy do we have here, Taurus? Virgo. Leo. Libra, Scorpio. Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Show me one more. Um, possibly something that may happen in Taurus season. I got Aries on the underside of the deck. It tells me this might be happening now. Not showing true feelings, hide, personify, to print, pretend, delude, and there's that gaslighting. I feel like that's what you think. You think you don't you don't think this person's genuine. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect. Now, there is a possibility with the 7 of pentacles over here that you're already invested in something else and this person's just coming out of nowhere. Might even be asking you to break up with a person that you're with. Wow. Okay. Let's get you some advice. Show me. Still not sure if I'm going to extend this. Let me get a little bit more. Let's get some advice. <laughs> There's the judgment card. How appropriate. Review and contemplation. That's exactly what you're doing. Excuse me. You've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have so much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next. As you contemplate the past and the present, you'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. So don't do something because everybody else thinks that you should. You need to not take advice from others. It seems to be very, very strong in this reading. Your intuition is the only thing that is going to help you make this decision. Show me one more. It's okay to get advice from others, but it's not always okay. To, we got another another person here. Queen of Wands. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know, as long as you, oh my goodness, as long as you know you're making a difference. Sorry guys, couldn't get that out. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace. That's why that card came out. What's on the bottom? This is a difficult situation, and you're trying to be graceful here. King of Swords, another person. <laughs> you may be called upon to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do brilliantly. There's something that you need to say here. Hmm. And you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Oh my goodness. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. This situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person, who could be you, may be emotionally unavailable. 
Well, King of Cups being in the challenge position would represent someone to me who is emotionally unavailable. But you may be the one who is emotionally unavailable right now. Like not letting your emotions get in the way of a decision that you need to make because I'm kind of getting the feeling that you just might be breaking this person's heart. The Hermit as the final outcome is usually a ghosting card. Thanks for stopping by. It was great to see you. Thanks for letting me know you're in town. See you later. <laughs> okay, let's pull. So you can, you can um, ask a question if you would like to. You do not have to ask a question. I'm going to do an angel answer segment. You don't have to be a Pisces to play either. I'm going to lay three cards face down on the table. Show me the answers to Pisces questions, please. Can we have one more? After the third card is down, you're going to pick a number. One, two, or three. Go with your gut. Follow your intuition. It's very important. This is an exercise that will just teach you to do that. On the bottom of the deck, we have <laughs> reconsider. Somebody, I feel like that's what somebody wants. Please reconsider um, a reconciliation with me or getting back together with me. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. Pick one, two, or three. Only pick one number. Don't change your mind. Here are your answers, Pisces. Oops. Look, it's up to you. That's so clear. All right. Be assertive. This situation will improve. Okay. Well, it looks like you're just going to go into deep thought for a while. So with that said, I'm not going to extend this reading. I feel like you just have some thinking to do. Be assertive. Go after what you want. And although you may be a little stressed out right now or upset because this person came back into your life unexpectedly, that's what I'm feeling. Don't worry. The situation will improve, okay? And you deserve love. You are lovable. Don't think that you have to reconcile with someone just because you don't think that you're good enough for someone else. That's what that card means to me when it comes out. Because I feel like with with that one card that said, um, don't be distracted by conventional thinking. This conventional thinking like, I should get back together with them because we have children together. Or because my parents think that I should. Or because we have so much time in, in, invested into this relationship. You know, don't do that. Just ask yourself, what do you want? Do you really want to be with this person? I feel like you got a lot to think about, Pisces. With that said, I'm going to leave that there. We will be doing, I'll, I'll be starting the May readings next week anyway. So this will give you a couple weeks to think about this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, Pisces. Good luck with your situation. And I will see you soon.